Hey there friends and welcome to Strive for Savvy where we talk about all things Kajabi marketing and growing your online business. Now one of the ways that we need to be able to grow our business is by knowing our numbers and being able to look at our analytics to be able to see what's working and what's not working. And one of my favorite tools to be able to do that is Google Analytics. Now granted Kajabi does have some really fantastic and robust uh, analytic tools where we can pull some really good reports but there's some things that Kajabi's reports can't tell us and there's some things that those reports don't tell us and there's a lot of things that we can do on really breaking down the numbers on our business to see exactly where there might be some disconnects or some holes in our marketing campaigns to make really good decisions to increase our conversions and the best way to do that is by looking at our numbers and looking at Google Analytics so this month we are gonna drop into Google Analytics and today I'm going to share with you a little bit about integrating with Google Analytics and probably in a way that you may not have heard about before because it's not the way that Kajabi talks about in their help article so let's jump on in let me share my screen here real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about so the way that you've probably heard about connecting with Google Analytics, or if you're brand new to Kajabi um, and you go to the help article, they're gonna tell you that one way that you can connect with Google is through your site settings, which we find down here in the side under our settings tab, and we go to third party integrations. And you'll notice down here, we have a little tab that says Google Analytics, and we can turn this on, and we can put our Google Analytics code into this box. So if I turn this on, there will be a UA code that it's asking for. And this is one of the ways that we can then through some of the back end coding that Kajabi does on when they set all this up to make it super easy for us, is all we have to do is enter our Google Analytics ID number into this particular tab. And what they'll do behind the scenes is they add this ID number to every page on our website. So it's really super handy if all you're looking for is to just get the basic Google Analytics on a universal account. But here is the caveat to this. Google Analytics just recently launched Google Analytics 4, at least at the time of recording this video. So if you're watching this several months down the road or years down the road, this may be a little bit different. But at the time of recording this video right now, Google Analytics 4 is a new version that they've recently released. And it's a completely different way of doing their analytics and the way that they're doing their tracking. So the recommendation um, on a lot of the stuff that I've been looking at on learning about Google Analytics 4 and the benefits and how it differs from universal Google Analytics is a, is a lot of the, the recommendations is for now to go ahead and do both. Well, if we're tracking right here inside Kajabi, um, we can't easily do both. So in order to get a, a comparison on the various analytics with the way that Google is kind of shifting and making some transitions, uh, one of the ways that we can do our tracking is gonna be a little bit different. We're not just gonna put um, the UA number because if you're using Google Analytics 4, it's not a UA number, it's a G number, and it doesn't work at least right now. Um, I talked to one of the guys at Kajabi about this just the other day, and they were saying that I'm sure that they'll stay on top of this because it's something that's fairly new and we got to, to stay with the way that the technology is changing. But right now, you cannot enter a GA4 code here. If you wanna do the GA4 instead of the universal analytic, the UA number, um, you would have to go into the header code and add it there. So if, if that's the case, what we're gonna do is we go into our settings and you're going to go to your site details. And when you get to the site details, we wanna scroll down until we get to the page scripts. And you'll see this option right here, your header page scripts. And this is where we can, of course, drag this down to expand it a little because this is such a small box. Uh, but we can then copy and paste the code that Google Analytics gives us to do a header code instead of the UA code. Um, so that is 
a second way we can do that. You can either do the universal analytics or the GA4. You can just add it here to the page scripts. But I'm going to show you an even better way to track your Google Analytics, and that is with Google Tag Manager. Now, Google Tag Manager is something where we can actually set up all of the different tags. So here's where Google Tag Manager works really well, is that we have our Google Analytics tag, and then we might have um, some um, our Google for tag, and we may have a pixel tag and our pixel ID tracking code, and then we have our ad campaigns if we're doing Google Ads. Um, and then we might have some custom tags and some different things that are going along with specific campaigns. Um, and sometimes that can get a little bit confusing if you're not a coder to be able to keep track of where those tags go and that they're not overlapping and they're not affecting each other. So Google actually has this really cool tool that is way underutilized from what I've seen on a lot of my clients on being able to go in and use something like Tag Manager. Now what you do is you go to tagmanager.google.com and you just simply set up an account. So if this is your first time coming in, you just have to log in with your, your Gmail, your Google account, and it's going to have you to set up an account. So what we're gonna do is you would simply um, create a workspace so right now I have mine um, already set up, but it'll prompt you to create an account. So what you'll do is you'll enter in your account name and, and then set up what is the website. And of course, we wanna do this as a website, not um, an iOS, Android, or server. So make sure you select web and then click create. And then they're gonna go through some terms and policies and things like that. So we want to make sure that we go through all of this and, and then click accept and yes. And then it's gonna pop up and it's gonna give you a specific code and this is then what we put into our website. So let me pull up that particular website. And again on this website, we're going to our settings and then site details. And here we scroll down to where we have our page scripts and our header page scripts. And we're going to paste this code right here, and you can actually just hit this little copy button here, and we're just gonna paste it into our site, and then click Save. Now the other thing to keep in mind is we don't want to be having duplicated codes in here. So if we go into third-party integrations and you've already set up a Google Analytics here, um, we just wanna turn this off. Um, and the same thing with, with um, if you're gonna track your pixel codes on Facebook through the tag manager, then um, you would wanna turn this off so that you're not duplicating your codes. Um, but you can go then into our tag manager and, um, and then we'll click OK. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start setting up some new tags. So we wanna go in here, we're gonna create a new tag and we're gonna call this one um, Google Analytics. And we're gonna select the tag configuration and we wanna make sure we're selecting the Google Analytics Universal Analytics. Now, if you have a GA4, then we can do a GA4 configuration. But the cool thing is, is that now, if we're doing both, if you set up both as a property, um, then we can set up the, the tagging so it's tracking uh, synonymously. So everything's working the way that it's supposed to. So we set this up as Universal Analytics. We wanna set it up for um, page view, and we're going to set up a new variable and we're going to grab our tracking ID from Google Analytics. So when we go to Google Analytics and we drag this in here, let me find the, um, that particular one. And we go to admin and we're gonna go to tracking information and tracking code and then we copy and paste this tracking ID from right here, and we're gonna put this into our Google um, Analytics Tag Manager, and this variable is our all. And click 
click save. And then what we have to do is we have to set our triggering. So this is where we're going to trigger by all pages. So that's gonna say we want this tracking code to be put on every single page in our website and then we click save. Now in Google Analytics, if we go back to our admin, if you have the UA for the universal number but you want to add the GA4 so that you're doing both, then we simply go into create property we're going to do a property name and then here it's the saying create a Google Analytics 4 property is now the default when you go to create a property. Now if you're creating a new property and you want the UA because you want to just use a universal analytics and just put it into that original um, connection that, it, that I showed you in the third party integrations, we would simply go into show advanced settings and then this is where it's create a universal analytics property and you would turn this on. Um, but in this case, I want to create a GA4 property because I've already created a universal property for this particular website. So I'm going to call this one GA4 so I can keep track of which is which. We set our time zone and our currency and then click next. And then of course we want to set up our industry and set our settings. and set it for web, and then put the website. And the stream name. And create stream. Now at this point, it's you notice it's not a UA number. This is a G number, so it's a completely different um, configuration and that's why right now if I try and put this number into the third-party integration so if I copy this and we go back into um, our Google Analytics and I put this number here and hit save um, it's saying that there's a problem because um, right now it has to be a universal analytics for this particular third-party integration to work with Kajabi. So you can either create a universal analytics property in Google Analytics or um, you can duplicate and then you can do what I'm showing you here by adding your tag manager and then entering that information. So then the next thing we want to do because I now have um, a GA4 is we can copy this and we'll go into our tag manager and we've created now um, our regular Google Analytics. We're going to create a new tag. We're going to call this one our Google Analytics GA4 and this tag configuration is going to be a GA4 configuration and then we just copy and paste the ID number in here and we're going to set it to trigger from all pages and then click save. So we now have all of those analytics in here. We can, we've copy and pasted. All we have to do then is we can submit and we create a version name. So this is and we're going to publish. Once we've published, we do want to make sure that everything's firing and triggering properly because we've added it. We can turn this off and click save um, because we've added it to our site details instead. So we're letting the, the tag manager take care of all of our tags. And um, so what we'll do is we go into our tag manager and up here we can preview and enter our site and start. And this is where it's gonna test everything and make sure that it's all firing and, and checking properly. So it's gonna bring up the website. And then you'll notice here that it says connected. 
So it says, yep, we're connected, everything's looking good. Now, if for some reason it gives you an error here and it says that you know it's not connecting, it might just be a pop-up blocker or something like that that's going on on the back end of, um, because this is when it's testing, it's using, um, depending on the settings on your computer. So you may try that and, and then try connecting again. But now we have that it's fired, it fired here. So we were testing now both Google Analytics and GA4 so and we can then um, have both of those Google Analytics tracking on our website. Now the other thing that's really cool about this is there's other things that we can do in Tag Manager. So if I go to Tag Configuration, look at all of these things that we can add in here. So we can add various tags right into the Tag Manager, including Facebook Pixels. So if you wanna track your Facebook Pixels here, we can definitely add it to our Tag Manager and we do that through the custom HTML where you pull in the tag code and you just put it into your custom HTML tag and then we follow the steps just like we did um, with all of the with the other steps um, there's other things we can do here like conversion linker we can do our ad Google Ads and Google ad remarketing um, all of these different things where we can just go in here and pull it directly into our tag manager and we don't have to worry about where is the code what happens if something changes we have one place that we can look at to keep track of of all of the different things that um, we're using on our website from a tagging and an analytics perspective. So it just makes things a ton easier on um, doing our analytics. So that's one of the reasons why I love the Google Tag Manager. It's something that I highly encourage you at least check it out. Um, if you want deeper information and more details about Google Analytics, why it's so beneficial for your business, stay tuned. We're gonna be talking about this um, on all of our videos during the month of April this month. Uh, so we're gonna go into lots of different things as far as tips on Google Analytics. And we do have a very special deep dive training that's available on my website. So you can go to striveforsavvy.com and go to the store and take a look at the, the Google Analytics for Kajabi because there's some reports that are really helpful to look at specifically. There's some things that you can do in Kajabi uh, with Google Analytics, like you can create custom tags. We can do things for tracking your funnels. So you get really detailed analytics, not only how many page views, like what Kajabi is showing you, we can go into the demographics of, of, of who's coming to our pages. We can look at each stage of your funnel and you can see where you're losing people. So that tells us where we can look at improving our funnels. There's so many different things that we can do with Google Analytics. So be sure to check it out on my website under our shop store with the deep dive program on Google Analytics this month. So, and another thing is too, this is my birthday month and as a special, I am giving a 50% off coupon all this month in the month of April for any of my online courses. All you have to use is the coupon code birthday 2021 to get 50% off any of the courses that I have on my site. So be sure to check that out and take advantage of that special gift that I'm offering you for my birthday. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you are serious about growing your online business, uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that we can keep you up to date of all the latest, greatest top tips and marketing strategies to help you in growing your Kajabi business. Thanks so, for, so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.